Hi mentees, I'm Alex from Boldly. Let's talk about networking. This is something that I personally did not invest in in my 20s and really had to accelerate into in my 30s. I think that my career, my personal development and just my understanding of the market didn't really blossom until I understood the importance of this. By comparison, I had a partner who was willing to go and have coffees with people, um, say yes to invitations, go out to, to events and, and build a really big online social network with really little um, you know, objectives or outcomes or, or necessity. I think what he saw that I didn't see at the time was that you build network when you don't have a need. You know, when you're not really having an ask for anybody, it's the best time to build authentic relationships when there's no pressure of needing an outcome. So now that I see that, it's had so much benefit for me. I think I've just blossomed in terms of how I get to know the market, the intelligence that I catch from the people around me, and my sense of where I fit into that market as well. So for you, starting to think about your networking, the first thing is to know why you're networking with people. Now, you don't want to categorize people or be too prescriptive about it, but you can have a loose understanding in your mind. Am I just networking because I want to get to know people more on a friendly basis? I get energy from those people and we'll just enjoy being in each other's company. Perfect reason to network. The second reason might be that you want to gain knowledge. Okay, are these people in my industry, in my market? Do they have intel that I would like to, you know, also share in? So again, good to just keep it fluid and, and not be, you know, pinpointing or, or kind of harassing them for that information. But just by being in the sphere and the, the, the contact points with these people who are out in the market, you're going to pick up and learn things by osmosis as well. Third thing is, could they actually be a potential future mentor? Okay, so someone who you learn directly from or who you're able to role model. There's definitely those degrees of, I guess, you know, value that you can get from your network. So think about it in that context. Now, when we start going out and networking, we often consider it as either face-to-face -face networking, that kind of, you know, boardroom invitation, maybe some light nibbles and, and cocktails, or social media networking, okay? Your LinkedIn and your other online sources. Now there's a lot of themes that make you effective across both. The first one I would say is courage. Being able to go up and ask someone to be connected. So if you're in that face-to-face -face boardroom, I often find just walking up and saying, hey, may I introduce myself? It sounds quite bold, but actually everybody's there to network. No one's gonna say, no thank you, sorry, you go over and stand over there. It would be very rare to get rejected so to speak in a formal networking situation so you just have to pick up the courage if that means having a buddy next to you and the two of you enter a conversation together you walk up to a cocktail table you go and introduce yourself to a small group who's already speaking it's likely that they're going to welcome you in because everybody's in the same boat <laughs> the same goes for when you're introducing yourself online have the courage be bold to just reach out and approach people directly but in a social media context, you need to have a really strong um, reason and an objective. Hi, I'm reaching out because I saw that we have a common interest in volleyball. Or hi, I'm reaching out because you seem to have a really strong profile and a voice that I see often on LinkedIn uh, with lots of opinions in our space and I'd just love to be connected with you. So thinking about reasons like that, it doesn't always need to be, hi, can I have a coffee? Like, it doesn't have to be as strict and as kind of structured as that. It's just starting to create the waves where you have general connectivity and laying that base layer so that in future, you've got people to reach back out to. So always remember quality over quantity. We're not trying to get the biggest networks. In the olden days when we were all getting business cards, it wasn't about having the most business cards in your back pocket. It's about having people who you genuinely know what they're about, know, you know what they think, what they're out in the market and what their value in terms of the relationship would be. So really make sure that you are reciprocating and that you're working in kind by having a point of view on the market, having things to share as well. Once you're in a relationship, make sure that you act consistent, consistently. So if every time you reach back out and you say, hey, it's been ages, we should catch up for a coffee and you never catch up for a coffee, it's going to seem really inauthentic. You probably wouldn't enjoy that approach yourself. So make sure that you just speak as a human. Hi, it's been a while since we, we last spoke. I saw this article in the, in the newspaper on the weekend and it made me think of you. How are you going? Okay, so find little opportunities that are grounded in reality, that are grounded in real things that you two have talked about. And if you set a you know, time to catch up or you know, an intention to reconnect, make sure you follow through on it. Authentic relationships are really going to go a long way. 
Now, again, if I think back to the things that stopped me, the things that I think challenged me from building a strong relationship, there was definitely some shyness. Um, I'm an introvert by nature. And I was also probably feeling like, what do I have to contribute to this other person? I don't have anything to give. I don't know that much about the market. I can't help them find another job. I can't, you know, give them my insights. And so I think it's really important. The thing that I later learned was to deconstruct that expectation. A lot of the time when people are networking, they just want to know you for your positive energy. They want to know you if you make them feel good, to be honest. So if you can ask questions, show that you are interested in them and that you, you kind of, you know, deeply, even not deeply, just like intently understand who they are and want to know who they are, then you don't have to have knowledge or to give. Giving your time and your attention and your positive energy is more than enough while you start to build your own network into the future. So of course, as you get further into your networking, there might be things that you can benefit each other from. Hey, I'd love to be introduced to XYZ person, or hey, I'm looking to, to interview somebody for my latest blog post. Do you know anybody in this space? As you get a better network, you ask for, for things from people, then you definitely you know, have some reciprocity, but it's not a perfect accounting system, okay? Don't think that you have to give one thing to get one thing back. When it comes to networking, it's like a snowball approach. It's just gonna accumulate, as you put good energy into your network, you will get it back out from some other place, okay? So come into it with the right mindset. You never know where the benefits are gonna come from your network, but if you're not building it and you're not investing it, then you will not get you know, anything out of it. So please think about going to more of those face-to-face uh, -face events, even if they feel cheesy and manufactured, it is a good place. You know, you might meet one in 20 people who actually become your lifelong contact or who lead you on to somewhere else. And definitely make sure that you're investing in your LinkedIn relationships. I know we have a lot of strangers on our LinkedIn now. They're not necessarily all people that we know, but you'll get the benefit of following them, seeing what they're liking, seeing what they're commenting on and just learning generally from them. So network, network, network. It's not traditional. It's not a dirty word. It's essential for your career today, for your personal understanding about how careers are going to work and just to have fun with your work. Okay. Thanks everyone.